Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for breaking up with my boyfriend after living together for 6 months? I'm 23, and my boyfriend, 29, has had an almost 3-year relationship and recently moved in together. To start with something, our relationship started very rocky as he was my ex's best friend. We initially started a casual secretive relationship focused on messing around and sex for obvious reasons. However, at some point, my boyfriend developed deeper feelings for me. He eventually confessed to his friend group that we were seeing each other, which felt like a bombshell. This is where things started to get messy. My boyfriend, whom we will call Tim for the sake of this story, had a long-term friend with benefits that I was very insecure about when we started officially dating. For context, this woman is about five years older than him and has always put up with his behavior. My boyfriend has a messy past and at that point, two kids, and she was always on the side of all of his relationships. As I was aware of this, one of the conditions I established with him before we started being official was that I did not want him to have any further contact with her, to which he agreed with no problem. Once he disclosed the news, all his friend groups turned their back on him, especially my ex. Just to clarify, when Tim and I got together, my ex and I had already broken up. As the news spread, this woman, who we can call Cindy, found out too. She reached out to me, saying that Tim was at her house just that past weekend, and that they never stopped seeing each other. She sent me a couple of screenshots and pictures, and after lots of talking, crying, and promising, I decided to give Tim a chance, as he promised he would never see her again. This was my first mistake. Months went by, and Tim and I were so in love and so devoted to each other, talking about a future together, getting married, having kids despite him having two already, and all these beautiful things a couple of planning for the future together. Well, this did not last too long. On Thanksgiving Day, Tim invited me to see him at a hotel because he needed to speak to me urgently. I had a horrible feeling but kept thinking to myself, what could possibly be so wrong? Once I arrived at the hotel he disclosed the news. Cindy was pregnant. And the baby was his. Unfortunately, I fell for him again, and after a couple of months we decided to get back together. I know it was the stupidest decision I've made in my life, and I knew that I was very carrying an extremely heavy weight in my back the whole relationship, but I did it anyway. Fast forward to January of this year. We moved in together. Now, this is the situation. After moving in six months ago, my boyfriend changed 100% on me. He was suddenly no longer showing me love, no longer taking me out on dates or dinners, mostly because all he wanted to do was focus on his car business and drink on the weekends. He also became extremely insecure and controlling. He eventually started to tell me that I could not longer wear certain clothes, that I couldn't see certain friends, and that I needed to be more devoted to him and to the relationship. He even tried to make me quit my job, I have a very good paying job, because he thought the only reason I was doing so good at my job was because of my looks. He said he only wanted me to act as his woman because that's what I was now. His women. The amount of stress and pressure he's been putting on me has been building up on me I no longer feel like myself. I feel sick all the time sleepy and have no energy. I gained over 20 pounds and I am truly no longer happy. He has frequently complained about my carelessness, bad attitude and other issues, making me feel inadequate and never enough. Yes, I've talked to him about this several times and asked him repeatedly to at least stop arguing about everything. This is where I might be the asshole. We recently went on a trip in which he got mad at me three days out of the five days the trip lasted. The vacation was with my family, which made it even more uncomfortable for me. As I have been having the feeling that he's been shady or doing something unfaithful because of his behavior and jealousy, I went through his phone. And found nothing. He works out of town and stays on site Monday Friday. However, I did not want to leave empty-handed, so I shared his location with me without him noticing. Two days ago, I randomly checked his location after a silly argument, and found out he was in a random neighborhood. I started calling him, and after the 15th call, I was watching him drive back to his regular place. I felt my heart sink again and break. Asking to myself if he was seeing Cindy again. Why is he not taking my call? Five minutes after he arrived at his house, he answered the phone and acted sleepy. He lied and said he had never left the house, even after I sent him a video of his location in real time. After that I told him to come pick up his shit on Friday and leave me the hell alone. He eventually explained he was at one of his co-workers birthday, and because he was mad, he didn't tell me. He was scared of answering the phone, because he knew I would get mad. Well oh of course, I would get mad at the same man who made me stop talking to friends, and to which I had to let know of every single step I was taking. Now his mom is texting me, my dad, and my brother, saying that I should talk things through, and that he is being honest this time. However, even if he's being honest, I actually see this as a way out and as an opportunity to get my life back, to feel good again, and finally leave him. 
So, am I the asshole for leaving my boyfriend after six months of living together in order to love myself and be myself? Comment Raconteur honey, what the FCK are you doing or thinking? Or not? This guy is a total dirtbag piece of SAT. First off, does he support the two kids he has already sired? Didn't sound like it. That alone is reason to 86 him. Now he knocks up this Cindy character, then shit tests you. Oh baby, don't waste time 86 this motherfucker, get to the gym, shed the 20 pounds and focus on your job. Then you can move forward. DM me if you want to unburden or chat more. Take care. Op replied, hi. Well, he supports all the kids financially. However, he has never been in their lives as a dad. Only with the oldest one. I must say, he has good things. Even after his sudden change when we moved in together, he has always been there to support me, I know this is only the bare minimum, to give me a hand and to help me. He is also being very good with details, maybe that's his way of love and gifting. I figured that because he would talk to me in such a sentimental way and be so romantic at times, I always thought what he was asking or demanding from me was because these things were hurting him or making him feel uncomfortable. After his FCK up with the baby and Cindy, he worked very hard to show me how much he regretted it. I believed him, I thought he had changed and that maybe we could be happy again, you know? I couldn't accept my reality and was kinda in denial. He took me to dinner every single weekend, we would party and hang out with friends, and he would take me to places and spend plenty of time with me. He gave me all his attention when he was in town, so much so that I got the feeling he was everything I needed. But when I realized the whole situation, it hit me, and it hit me hard. I've been feeling like I have been accompanied by a ghost, something that never leaves my head and that every time I think of it, makes me want to throw up. And that, it's not his fault. That's my fault for allowing myself to get to that point, and for going back after he hurt me so so bad. I also must say that he only complained about my attitude and my temper because, on a lot of these things, I would never agree, and I had a hard time following his demands or wants, which was the reason we always ended on days worth of arguments. For example, my boss texted me or called about a work matter instead of emailing me, or I stayed talking to a friend as she's a girl that he knows at the gym for too long. But then, I would feel guilty and feel like I was deteriorating the relationship, and that the whole argument was my fault and that I kept fucking up. It is honestly a weird feeling, to feel guilty while knowing you did nothing wrong. It almost sounds like I am defending him, but I am not. I am just mentioning a few things that held me back, and that convinced me that I would hurt him if I left him, but he never considered how many times he hurt me. Immediate shallot, not the asshole, don't listen to them, please. He's abusive as hell, and you deserve better. You know you do. He is making you sick, don't take him back you will regret it. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.